Hello guys, Zanja here and as you can see I have the OnePlus 2 with me and in this video I am going to show you guys how to unlock the bootloader of OnePlus 2, how to flash custom recovery and how to root the device. So I will cover all these points in the video. So let's get started with the video. First of all connect your device to the USB-C type cable that comes with the box. Uh, we cannot use a micro USB cable sadly so connect with that. And this is the first time that I am connecting OnePlus 2 to my device so that it's even completely new for me also. So after this, now go into settings, then go into about phone, then tap the build number 7 times. Then there will be an option called as develop option. Select advanced reboot option which we will use later on and select USB debugging. Uh, then it will say allow USB debugging, then hit ok. So after this, all the work is on PC, so let's switch to PC now. So guys, now we are going to use ADB commands and fastboot commands to root the device. So if you do not have working ADB on your PC, then download this tool from here. I'll give all the links in the description box below. Download this tool from here and after that install the tool. Uh, so let's just close this and after this download PDNA drivers also so that uh, you won't face any problems in fastboot mode. And after this download the OnePlus 2 drivers also and once again all the links will be in the description box below. And after you download all these files, simply install the files, uh, it's very easy. And now if you want to check if ADB drivers are installed properly or not, simply hold shift key on the keyboard and at the same time press right click on the mouse. Then you will see something as open command window here. If you just normally press right click, you will not see that option. So hold shift key and press right click, you will see open command window here. And after that, uh, type a command as ADB devices. Simply hit the enter button and you will see something as uh, allow USB debugging then select always allow and hit ok. So all the drivers are installed on the device. Now we need to boot into fast boot mode. For that hold the power button and select reboot and select bootloader over here. Bootloader is same as fast boot mode so select bootloader hit ok. And now the device will reboot into bootloader mode or the fast boot mode. So as you can see it is saying OnePlus fastboot mode. So I will just keep the device over here. And now to unlock the bootloader simply write this command as fastboot oem unlock. And as we are on fastboot mode this command will work. And after this this Chinese command will come over here. And now hit the power button to select yes. So I assume that the first one is yes and that is the yes button. And now the device will reboot into normal system. So as you can see, uh, it is optimizing apps and it is saying Android is starting. That means all the internal storage is wiped and all the apps and all the data of the apps will be wiped. So if you want to save any of the application or data on the internal storage, then don't forget to do that before you use the command fastboot OEM unlock. So we have successfully booted back into the system. So now we need to copy one file that's the update super su zip to the internal storage of the phone. So simply copy that zip file into the internal storage of the phone and once again we need to reboot into the bootloader mode of the phone. So as you can see we have booted back into the fastboot mode over here. And now if you want to check if the device's bootloader is unlocked or not, simply write this command as fastboot oem device info and hit enter. Now it will say device unlocked that is set to true so that means the device's bootloader is unlocked. Now we need to boot into TWRB recovery. So there are two ways by which you can flash the update super su zip. You can flash the TWRB recovery permanently or you can just boot into TWRB recovery, flash the zip file and you will be back onto the stock recovery. TWRP recovery won't remain there. It will be gone after that. And now if you do not want to flash the TWRP recovery permanently, then write this command as fastboot boot. Then write the recovery name. For me, the recovery name is recovery TWRP. Write this name and write dot IMG. And after you enter this command, the phone will boot into TWRP recovery. Then flash the super SU zip, which I'll show you right now. But after the flashing is done, the TWRP recovery won't remain there. It will be replaced by the stock recovery. We'll just boot into the TWRP recovery. But if you want to flash the TWRP recovery permanently like me, I want to flash the TWRP recovery permanently, then I'll use this command that is fastboot flash recovery, recovery TWRP. This is the name of the image file. 
and after that write dot img writing dot img is very very important so do write that and after that hit enter so as you can see the twrp recovery is flashed properly and now if you want to boot into the twrp recovery from here only then write fast boot boot and write recovery name that's the recovery over here recovery dot img and after that hit enter once again and now the device will boot into twrp mode over here so as you can see we have successfully booted into the twrp recovery after this select install and now select the super sd zip file which we had copied earlier into the internal storage so select that and just swipe to confirm flash this will install the super sd zip and the, your device will be rooted after this so after it says successful simply hit reboot system button so guys now you will see something as disable stock recovery replace during system boot and now if you want to keep the twrp recovery permanently then select swipe to disable if you do not want to keep the twrp recovery permanently then select not disable so i want to keep the twrp recovery so i'll say i'll select that option and after this now we'll boot into the system so guys we have rebooted back into the system successfully now let's check if the root permission is there or not for this open the root checker application select agree over here select okay and now select verify root and it will ask you for the permission so this means we have rooted the device successfully so as you can see congratulations this device has root access so guys as you can see we have rooted the oneplus 2 over here successfully in less than 10 minutes so do hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and if you have any doubts suggestions queries regarding oneplus 2 or regarding the procedure that i have showed just now then do let me know about that in the comment section below i'll surely try to answer your queries and guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button because many more videos on the oneplus 2 will be coming real soon so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching